Hi everybody. Today we are going to draw a dog in the style of the artist Paul Clay. If you have already done our cat in the style of artist Paul Clay, then you'll have a very good idea that this is going to look really similar to our cat. So just like with our cat, I'm going to start with a nice big circle. And mine didn't quite come out perfectly and that's okay. That is why you should be doing yours in pencil first because I am not going to be able to erase that. But I'm just going to leave it because I'm sure that when I'm all done I will barely even notice it. From my nice big circle where I've left space at the top and more space at the bottom, what I am going to do is I'm going to pull a line down. This is going to be for our dog's body and I'm going to pull a line down. Again, all the way to the bottom of your paper. Now what I'm going to do is about in the center of my circle, I'm going to put a dot. It's okay if it's not exactly in the middle. You don't need to measure it. Just put a dot where you think the middle of your paper is and make sure that it's nice and small inside that circle. From there what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out and around and down and I'm going to connect with that circle shape. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So I'm going to come out, around and down and connect there. So it's similar to a circle, not quite, but I have a nice round shape in the bottom part of the big circle that I have for the head. This is going to turn into the muzzle of our dog, that part where the nose comes forward. Then, not quite in the middle, so a little bit up. If the middle of my circle is right about here, a little bit up from there, I'm going to add another dot. From that dot, I am going to slant up and slant up, and that makes a triangle for the nose. From the bottom of this triangle, I am going to come down, and then I'm going to curve out. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to come down and then I'm going to curve out. So you'll notice that curve right there. It's almost like I'm writing a little bit of that letter J. Okay. We are going to add another line below the head that curves. And again, this is going to be for our dog's collar. From the top of the nose that's right here, on one side or the other, either one is fine, you are going to add a line coming straight up. The artist Paul Clay would break his artwork up into different sections. It was part of the cubist style of artwork. To add our ears we're going to make our dog look like it has floppy ears, not pointed ears. So I'm going to come out and then stop. And I'm going to do the same thing, out and then stop. So right now it almost looks like I have an alien drawn on my paper and those are the antenna. From the end of this line, I am going to slant down and then I'm going to go back to the head. I am going to slant down, back to the head. So now it looks like his ears kind of come up and then flop over. The next thing that we need to add are the eyes for our dog. I like using two different shapes inside the eyes. So on this one, I might have a triangle. 
and then I could have a circle inside of it if I want. So I have two different shapes. And on this one, maybe I'm gonna do the opposite. Maybe I'm gonna have a circle here and then a triangle inside of that. So do you see how they're opposite each other a little bit? In the body of our dog, we are gonna draw a straight line down to break this big shape into smaller shapes. And then I'm gonna bring another line across I'm also, since this is the collar, going to bring down a little dog tag and you can make the tag whatever shape you want. I am gonna make mine a square for this dog today. I might also choose to add an extra line or two inside the ear just to give that kind of a different shape so that when I color I can use two different colors inside the ears and if you notice I did this line vertically so straight up and down I did this line horizontally it is going side to side at this point I'm gonna add a pattern to my collar for my dog and I'm gonna draw an oval and then a little square and then an oval and then a little square you could draw a zigzag line you could draw different shapes you could make yours look like it has polka dots on it it is your choice and then this little square is going to look like it goes right off so on our cats that we did, we used cool colors. For this one, we're gonna kind of call him a hot dog, even though the right word is actually warm, but we're gonna be using warm colors to color in our dog this time. Warm colors are yellow, red, and orange. So these are our warm colors. They remind us of fire or a hot sunny day and they're nice and bright. We are gonna only use these three colors inside our dog. Just like on our cat, we used cool colors. This guy is gonna be warm colors today. So I'm gonna start to color with my warm colors you are going to keep watching for a moment. I will check back in and then it will be your turn to color. I have finished coloring my warm colored dog or my hot dog and you'll notice that inside the shape of my dog I only used my warm colors red yellow and orange I did put black in the center of the eyes just because I wanted it to look like that instead of having like an orange eye if you want to use a warm color inside your eyes that's absolutely fine that can be a choice I used warm colors in the collar on the tag the body, the face, and the ears. To fill my background, I used a cool color just to give some contrast between the warmth of the dog and a cool background to make it stand out. All right, I hope you enjoyed following along and I will see you next time. Bye everybody.